Hey folks, Marty Morales here. And I was recently asked by a, a former student who just graduated. And so they're now a massage therapist or they're, they're about to be a massage therapist. And they said, um, they asked me, Marty, like, what do I do now? Um, I think I know what I want to do as far as specialization, but um, what do you suggest? And I thought, okay, that's great that you have an idea or you have a desire to specialize in something, um, but I would actually give you some differing advice. And this is the advice I would give to someone who just started out uh, uh, in the massage therapy world and they're thinking, I'm now a massage therapist, now what? First off, get out there and do work. Now, that could mean that you go get a job at a spa, go get a job at a chiropractor's office, go get a job at a clinic. Um, but the important thing is to get those bodies under your hands to experience working on people. Um, you could also be volunteering, uh, working uh, at booths for health fairs, doing uh, sports massage at a marathon or some sort of volunteer work. Um, I used to volunteer for a few years at a nursing facility when I first started out. And it was a great experience because I got to have uh, a lot of work experience bodies under my hands, but I also got a chance to realize what I liked to do and what I didn't like to do. So first thing, get those bodies under your hands, get that experience, because that's also going to kind of reveal to you some of the things that you maybe like about massage therapy and some of the things that you don't like, or maybe that'll reveal to you a direction uh, or path that you want to pursue. Maybe you initially started off saying, hey, I want to do structural immigration, but then after uh, a while of working, you realize, oh no, I actually want to do lymphatic work. Well, fantastic. You realize that and you realize your, your path and off you go. The other thing I would recommend for you to do is to receive work. Receive work as much as possible and get different types of work and get the same type of work from two different practitioners. Don't get stuck, especially in the very beginning, don't get stuck trading with just one person because what the, the purpose of this is to experience different modalities, experience different uh, ways of working, and also experience how different practitioners do uh, do their work. Uh, it might be uh, it might be the case that you realize that one person does their deep tissue work one way, and another person does uh, a deep tissue work differently, even if they went through the same training. So that's going to also kind of expand your mind and and make you realize, oh, um, th there are different ways of doing things. And you're also going to learn. We as body workers, we learn not just by uh, listening and reading and watching and doing, but also by receiving. So receiving is another way of learning. Um, so these would be the two big things I would say that you should do as soon as you get out of your massage therapy uh, education. And, you know, sometimes this is a little tough because some folks... Are, are done with their program and sometimes they think, oh, I know, I know this, um, I don't need to go off and, and do any trades and learn anything else. You know, I'm done because I did a thousand hours of training, but that's not always the case, folks, I'm sorry to say. Some of you might think that it's the end, but it's actually the beginning. So uh, get out there and receive work, get out there and do work. Um, it could be for pay or, or, if it, or it could be for free. But you have to get out there and, and experience in order to uh, have that new direction revealed to you. So that's it, folks. I really hope that helped. I, I really wish you all the best in this. Please feel free to comment uh, with questions. And we'll see you in the future. Thanks.